Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing some new rare clothing items you guys can unlock in GTA 5. We're also going to be taking a look at a brand new background update Rockstar Games have just rolled out, along with some new community guidelines, which will be affecting a ton of players from today. So as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below, and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so as i'm sure you guys were aware last night rockstar games rolled out a brand new weekly update into gta 5 online which i've already made a video on fully breaking down however they also rolled out some new gta plus member benefits of course gta plus is a paid monthly subscription to rockstar games which will cost you guys six dollars and in return you guys are going to be receiving the following rewards for the entire month so the first thing that most people are always interested in is the rare clothing unlocks that gta plus members do receive so this month players will be receiving some fooligan style clothing items as you guys can see on screen we will be unlocking this fooligan vest which also comes with a logo on the back very similar to the one that you guys can see dax wearing when playing at the acid lab missions however the fooligan vest isn't the only item you guys will be unlocking you can also unlock this fooligan t-shirt which as you guys can see on screen has a skull on it with some sort of circus design over it gta plus members will also be receiving this coil cyclone t-shirt and we do know that rockstar games have announced that gta plus members will be receiving an exclusive sports car for this summer's update so taking a closer look at this image this is probably like a sneak glimpse of what gta plus members will be receiving exclusively most likely with next month's gta plus rewards however finally all gta plus members can also unlock this black los santos cap so in total four exclusive clothing items for all gta plus members this month and of course just like every single month gta plus members will also be receiving a free vehicle which can be claimed over at the vinewood car club simply just make your way up to it and click claim and this month's free vehicle will be known as the Itali GTB and if you guys aren't aware this car would usually be setting you guys back 1.1 million dollars you could be easily spending well over 1.3 1.4 million dollars so if you guys are a gta plus member and you do currently own this vehicle already definitely go ahead and quick sell it and claim your free version at any point over the next month and i do know a bunch of you guys most likely already do own this vehicle as it was released all the way back in 2017 with the import export update which i've got to say is probably one of the best dlc updates the rockstar games have released over the 10 years however it's not only exclusive clothing items and a free car that all gta plus members get they also receive some exclusive money and rp bonuses so all gta plus members will be receiving a 1.5 speed boost on all of the biker business productions the bunker productions the nightclub production as well as lupe's source special cargo you'll also be able to receive double money and double rp on all of the operation paper trail missions which no one plays for the life of them as they usually pay very very bad however you can also get double money and double rp on all of the biker clubhouse contracts and mc work so if you guys are gta plus members there is a ton of ways to be making money over the next month or so especially before the big summer update however finally all gta plus members will also be able to get a discount of 50 percent off the biker clubhouses plus all the renovations along with all of the biker businesses plus the upgrades and of course it is worth mentioning all gta plus members will also be receiving a very nice 1.5 million dollars for doing nothing just straight deposited into ma's bank account and of course they are still running all of the concurrent gta plus member benefits like access to the 100 vehicle garage access to classic rockstar games titles such as red dead redemption along with exclusive taxi services 
free CEO abilities along with free vehicle requests. So they are all of the GTA Plus member benefits for April. Leave a comment down below and let me know do you guys think all of these benefits are worth $6 a month and let me know what type of content could Rockstar Games add into the game that would convince you guys to become a GTA Plus member. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, Rockstar Games also rolled out some new community guidelines last night that I know will be affecting a ton of GTA 5 players as well as how they play the game going forward in the future. So they went ahead and shared this bit of artwork saying, say sorry, be nice. And they summed it up by saying, we have an incredible, vibrant Rockstar Games community. Every day, millions of players across the globe are working their way up the criminal ladder in gt online or living the life of an outlaw in red dead online while these functional worlds are filled with possibilities maintaining a foundation of fair play respect and player safety for everyone is our highest priority to ensure a positive gaming experience including a welcoming fun and fair environment for our community we encourage everyone to follow these basic guiding principles and to adhere to our community guidelines Additionally, these guidelines outline what behavior and actions we do not allow as more fully detailed in our terms of service and will be updated periodically to reflect any ongoing changes to the player experience. If you observe players not acting in accordance with our community guidelines, we strongly encourage you to report this behavior using the in-game reporting tools or through the options available on our website. And then they do go on to break down these community guidelines into different sections. So you've got one section here known as Fair Play, who will be targeting players who are either cheating or griefing, as you guys can see on the screen. I won't bother reading all of these out, but instead I'll leave a link to it down low in the comment section and the description if you guys do want to have a full read through however the next sector goes on about respect and if you guys are basically doing any harassment bullying threats or any identity-based hate crimes such as targeting someone's race sexual orientation age or even their veteran status that could also result in you guys getting banned the next section goes on about the safety of playing gta 5 online so mainly about spams or scams or people glorifying or promoting real world events in the video game that will also result in you guys receiving a ban and they basically sum up everything here with the final sector which does say consequences if you guys are caught breaking any of these new community guidelines and it does read if a player violates our community guidelines we reserve the right to take action against that account the type of action will depend on the case the severity and the frequency of violations we find in the account if appropriate these violations will be reported to law enforcement players who are found to violate our community guidelines may see additional enforcement actions taken against their account including feature suspensions and account suspensions and bans these guidelines apply to all aspects of our online game experience including voice and text communication or any community created content we strongly encourage players to report any prohibited slash inappropriate behavior and to continue to help keep our game safe so boys it looks like rockstar games is dealing with the five oh <laughs> so for you guys that like to trash talk online or in the past have maybe gone back and forth with someone it looks like now your actions could have severe real life consequences if if any of you guys were playing Call of Duty or GTA 5 like eight years ago, then you would have known the type of trash talking that was taking place in these games was almost part of the gaming experience, especially for a game like Grand Theft Auto, which is an 18 plus rated game. I think instead of trying to target players who are trash talking online, they should more target the underage gamers who are playing the game at like 10 years old as they seem to be the people that Rockstar Games are scared of offending yet they've made the game only available to purchase to 18 plus. There really is a massive contradiction there especially if you guys have played any of the Grand Theft Auto games. I mean the story mode and what GTA has always been known for is being edgy and going against pop culture so 
I don't know what this is a sign we're going to be seeing with GTA 6. I really do think that the days of seeing a fun GTA story mode that might offend a few people but is extremely funny are over. We're probably going to see a very clean cut making sure it doesn't offend anyone in the world type of game as Rockstar Games obviously are a public traded company through Take 2 Games and I'm sure you guys don't need me to tell you how the world is going now with a lot of people just easily offended with what they see online and instead of moving on with their life you see them dedicating their entire lives to taking legal action against stuff that really doesn't affect them in any way shape or form however that is going to do it for me guys like i said hopefully this isn't a sign that rockstar games are going pc and soft in their old age as i think we can all agree grand theft auto wouldn't be the game it was today if they didn't offend a few people along the way however as always if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 and soon to be gta 6 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video